Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is Dixie. Dixie. And we're Love Hut for Life. For 180 weeks, we've been traveling around the country at our house. That's right, guys. And for the last seven of them, we have been working on this school bus behind us, turning it into a beautiful home on wheels. This week is all about pulling all of Shane's hard work together and seeing what it's going to look like. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, be sure and hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to comment below to let us know that you're watching. If you've been following along with us for the past several weeks, you know I've been working on this school bus conversion. This here is the bathroom door that I finished up at the end of last week. I'm pretty excited about this week. Last week, unfortunately, due to some bad weather and also bad health on my part, didn't quite move as fast as I wanted to. But hopefully this week, I'm on a lot of fire underneath my tail. And here's the bus we've been working on. It's on top of finishing that bathroom door out in there. There was also a little cedar stool that goes in the bathroom. I also got the shower ready to be sealed up. As you can see, I have my supplies here. I'm gonna be sealing the shower this morning, as well as all of the trim pieces that's gonna be going around the shower as well as finishing up the trim all the way through the bus. Let's get some stuff done, y'all. Y'all, I am so pumped. Check it out. The first coat turned out to be a success, I would say. Gotta wait a few hours and I'll add another coat. Oh, that shower's dope. I've been all over the place today. So I removed my headboard because I am needing to finalize the plumbing as well as the electrical. It's got to get down into that corner over there. But I also needed to dry fit my tank, drill my holes, and then I covered the inside of this box with elastomeric just to make it a little waterproof. It never hurts anything. very excited about how the shower is turning out though y'all I've only got one coat of sealer stain on it and there's some uneven spots that I don't like and I think that is due to the fact I use waterproof glue so I sanded it down but you know I'm human I miss spots so I've got to go back and sand these little high spots, light spots, and then I'll apply more stain to it. I was hoping to get it done in one day. This product says you can apply the second coat within just a couple of hours, but I've got to wait on it to harden. Oh well, see you tomorrow, bus. Good morning, y'all. I wanted to show you what I'm starting out my day with. Yesterday I applied the stain and I'm trying to get the camera to focus on it. I had a bit of running involved with the stain as well as some of this lighted area is caused from the waterproof glue that I put between the seams. I sanded almost all of it off. I just missed a couple of spots. So I'm coming back this morning with the same grit sandpaper that I originally sanded with. And I'm gonna be hitting these high spots, which will bring it back down to wood. And then I'll reapply my coat. We'll get it there in no time. Sorry the lighting's hard in here. It's a really bright LED bar back there behind me. I've been spending some time outside today because the weather is allowing me to. While it's been raining, I've found a couple of small leaks along the bus. So I've went back and I've reevaluated the ceiling. There is a little rubber tab that keeps the window from slamming down when you close it. It's not actually part of any sort of weather sealing in there. 
But what happens is when you seal along the bottom of this and that tab is in there, water, when it's raining hard, runs in behind the tab and then behind your sealant and then into the bus. So I pulled all of these little tabs out and sealed them as well as went back and sealed again along the window frame on every window I can find. Unfortunately, bus windows just inherently leak. So no matter your best work, eventually they're gonna leak at some place on them at some point, particularly when the bus is cocked at an angle. When it's sitting flat and level, you have these nice gutters up there that do a really good job of preventing leaks from happening. But if the bus is tilted either way, you're bound to see leaks on either side because parts of the bus are just getting a lot of water. But because the weather is allowing me to be outside, I'm gonna start working on this electrical system because the only way to really install it is standing out here. So I'm gonna get as much in before it gets dark as I possibly can. I wonder what Kelsey's been working on. What are you doing over here? Hello, making tie-dye. Oh my god, what did you, how, why, why is there dye in your mouth? There's dye in my mouth? Yes, let me see your hands. <laughs> you look like the Easter Bunny. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Apparently I should go get cleaned up. I think so. But look at my stuff I'm making. No, it's gorgeous. Oh my. <laughs> well, as you can guess, I didn't finish the bus today. But, I did start getting in a lot of the electrical components. That back there is gonna be our DC, as well as AC breaker box. This is gonna be some uh, DC breakers. That's the charge controller. The DC to DC inverter is gonna go here. And this is gonna be our shore power breaker. Cause the shore power is over here and it's gonna wrap around the top up there and down to our inverter converter. I still have lots more to do, but Kelsey says it's time to clock out. So I'm gonna do what she tells me to do. See y'all tomorrow. Oh, good morning, everyone. That sun has decided to come out and play and so have me and Dixie. We have been working on getting all of our tie-dye untied so that we can see what it's gonna look like. I had some leftover bottles from the tie-dye that we did earlier during our stay here and I decided to see if I could revamp some old clothing instead of throwing them away and I'm pretty pumped about how it turned out. I also got to work on this little tapestry that we'll lay out with uh, my jewelry sitting on top of it the next time that we get to set up for a festival. Meanwhile, let's go see what Shane's up to in the bus. No headphone today, I heard you coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm putting on my finishing coat for the shower. Hopefully I'll have this whole bathroom put together today. Are you excited to finally see it? I am. I'm very excited to finally see it. I love this bathroom. This whole bus is actually on its way to being complete. It is. We're getting close, guys. What do you think, Dixie? Do you approve? I think she approves, guys. That sun is really not participating with me, but that's okay. It's not raining. I've been diligently cutting and crimping wires all day long. As you can see with this system, I'm utilizing what they call mini breakers. This is the 30 amp shore power breaker. That's a cool option. 
to utilize these little plastic boxes instead of the like metal residential type fuse boxes. This would be a residential breaker. And this is also a plastic box. I really like this as well. This is for all of our 12 volt items and all of our 120 volt or 110 volt items. This is my breaker system for all of the DC. So things like the charge, the MPPT and the DC to DC charge controller, as well as the fuse for this. This is gonna be pretty when I'm done, I do believe. Well, that sun's a setting, and apparently it's Taco Monday, so I'm gonna call it quits for the day. I spent a lot of time standing outside that door, and I'll show you guys what I accomplished in just a minute. I did manage to finish up the shower today, so all this is completely sealed. I'm just waiting on it to dry. That is the wraparound for the sink pedestal, so it'll be a floating sink. And then I also have a little bench that I'm mounting here in the corner. We'll get those all put in tomorrow and get all the plumbing attached. And also clean this bus up. I get all this sawdust and my tools out of here. The bus should be almost done. <laughs> this is what I've been doing today. There'll be more tomorrow. Oh, wow. Look at that blue sky. It makes the love hut so yellow. What a beautiful day. Today I'm going to be trying to get this electrical system all pinned up. I did want to show you guys where the wiring is coming in right here. All this will be hidden behind this panel and a removable wood panel. So if you guys can't tell, I'm a big fan of removable panels and pockets because it's really important to be able to work on all of these systems as you travel. Just because you built it once doesn't mean something's not gonna break and the way it's gonna break is totally unpredictable. So I always try to prepare for the unknown. Let's see what we can get done today. Guys, I've been working on getting all of my projects all cleaned up and ready to be packed back into the truck because we are getting about ready to hit the road. As you can see, I'm making some more jewelry pieces with the seashell and crystal combinations. I'm really liking how those are turning out and all of these are getting bagged up to go into our storage or at least uh, into uh, the place where we keep the rocks that we're going to put into storage guys that collection has gotten really really insane but it will never stop growing how are you doing over here shane good what time is it i think it's like 7 30 i don't know but the sun is down and time to stop yeah yeah Go i think it's time to feed me. you <laughs> I've been standing here all day. Have you been watching? I have been watching. How have you been doing over here, babe? Great. Almost got all of the components tied together. Ooh, pretty. I always love seeing how neat and tidy Shane manages to get all of these crazy wires. It's a nice system. Good job, Shane. Thanks. More tomorrow? More tomorrow. We're almost done though. We are almost done. <laughs> I swear the sun was on me 10 minutes ago. One thunder boom 
And then a monster pour. Maybe it'll pass and we can get back to the bus. But in the meantime, you got dad in here. I think she approves. Unfortunately, the rain broke about the time the sun set. So, we'll see you tomorrow, bus. Today, I did manage to get a lot of the electrical completely finished. I had to pack all my tools in here, obviously. Tomorrow, I'll start dragging everything out of the bus and even spending some time underneath it. It's time to get these tanks up in the air. Well, fortunately, them storms from last night didn't stay with us. Today, I'm bringing out the milk crates. It's time to get this bus emptied out and cleaned up. And what I traditionally do is I start at one end of the bus and I work all the way around, making sure I finish every little project. It's time to say goodbye to this thing. Let's go. Hello. I thought that was going to scare you a lot more than it did. <laughs> mm, not this week. I'm braver today. <laughs> How's it going this morning? Good. Look, I'm starting to add bus panels back in. Very nice. I'm starting from this corner and moving back and back around so I can get this thing finished up. It's going to be all clean and finished any minute now. Any minute now. <laughs> any day, but minute for them. <laughs> You know, I'm happy you guys get to start my day with me because you really understand how chaotic building one of these things actually is. I start my day with the best of intentions and I'm going to do everything in this exact order and nothing goes as planned and that's pretty much all it is every day until you finish building a bus and then you start over again. So today, <laughs> check out what I've done. I've taken down all my work lights because I am closing up the electrical run up top. So I got the spot over the kitchen done. Finished trimming down underneath there. Started laying out my little outlet box. It's gonna look so cool. Completely skipped over the bathroom for the day. I got some parts in and I've got my solar system all tied together. I'll be testing it out tomorrow in all the sunshine. I've been working on tying the last of the plumbing in together as well as adding these little lights up here and USB chargers and light switches. Oh, just so many things to finish. I'll do more tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Good morning. It's Friday, y'all. And I know it looks like a wreck around here, but I've got a lot of things lined up for the day. Yesterday, I did drill another hole in the bottom there, and that's the plumbing from the kitchen sink. I have tanks to hang under there. I have lots to do in here. Let's see what we can get done today. I've got all the lights working. It's the little victories. Back here I did two different sets of lights. So you have these over the bed, which are controlled right here. I put the switch upside down, silly me. And then there's also these right here, which point at this wall. So if you're laying in bed and you need to turn on the lights, there's that option, and that prevents you from bonding yourself with these things, because sometimes these LED lights can be a bit of a shocker. Shane is almost finished up in there, which makes it my job to finish cleaning up out here. The 
first task is to get all of my jewelry organized and packed up. As you can see, me and my little helper have all of it out and organized this morning. This is pretty much my entire collection, guys. All of the rolls are separated by states. So you have South Carolina here, New Mexico, these Pecos diamonds here. This here is Arizona. So you've got some Payson diamonds down below, mushroom rhyolite, purple pastelite. opalized calcitony in there. Over here we have Arkansas. A bunch of really large beautiful crystal points with hemp jewelry. Some of my earlier work from Arkansas right here. Still some really beautiful pieces. And of course, everything that I've been doing since we've been here. You can see how my work has progressed. Guys, if you are interested in any of these crystals and gemstones or homemade jewelry, then be sure and check out our Etsy page. That's where I'm listing all of those along with some really cool Love Hut for Life merchandise. You know you want a Love Hut shirt. Hey Dixie, do you need a Love Hut shirt? I'm loving this little stool. It was such a weird little item sitting on the floor. Got it all attached. Sturdy as a rock. Now you got somewhere to sit while you dry your feet. Hey, no, Dixie. It's getting dark and Dad still isn't inside. I don't think she approves, guys. He is still out there trying to work to get this bus done. I don't think it's going to get done this week. I am, however, prepared to feed our builder. Got spinach and mushrooms and mozzarella cheese in there. And pork roast with potatoes and onions and peppers. And some Texas style beans. We'll be packing up and getting out of here soon, guys. We've got some very, very special people waiting close by. Y'all, listen to those frogs. I love tree frogs. It always makes me feel at home. There is a ton of them on this property. As you can see, the bus is glowing in the dark and I'm pooped. Unfortunately, y'all, I didn't finish it for you this week. I tried real hard. You're gonna have to come back next week. And I haven't bothered cleaning it up for you either, so bear with me. I do have the light system working though. Ain't it neat? Every flat surface becomes somewhere to pile my tools. I'm slowly knocking out all of my supplies. Been wiring this whole board up today. I got my TV hung. Oh, a door, look. Working on the sink and shower as well. Y'all make sure you come back next week and see just what this thing looks like all finished up. I'm close, I'm real close y'all. It looks like chaos. There's a lot of components that are already built and sitting to the side that all just go back together to hide all this monstrosity. See y'all next week. Sorry friends. Guys, we were so, so very close. No worries, we will get it all cleaned up and ready for you to see next week.
Guys, we do want to take the time to say thank you to each and every one of you who have followed us along this far. If you haven't already done so, be sure and hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and comment below so that we know who's watching. If you want a different point of view into our life, check out some of our other social media like Facebook and Instagram. While you're there, you could also direct message us if you're trying to get a hold of us, or you could send us an email at lovehuntforlife at gmail.com. Also guys, don't forget to check out our new Etsy page where a ton of the homemade jewelry that you guys have been watching me make of the gemstones that y'all watched us find and a whole lot of really cool Love Hunt for Life merchandise. We'll see you next week. You guys have a good one. Peace out. Bye y'all.